Hi love bug, welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your Love Plus Manifestation Coach. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you why your age does not matter when it comes to manifesting your dream partner, your specific person, or an improved version of your current relationship. But first, I want to make you aware of my brand new free masterclass, the six step proven formula to manifest your epic love life from within that you can get instant access to right now by clicking the link in the description box below. Okay, let's now get back to the theme of this training. Why your age is irrelevant when it comes to manifesting whatever lights up your soul in your love life. Well, where I want to begin with this is by first shining some light on the problem. And here it is, societal conditioning. From a very young age, we have been taught to believe that after a certain age, it all goes downhill. That after a certain age, it is hard to find love. That after a certain age, you become undesirable. And so we take on these beliefs that say, if we haven't yet found love by a certain age, then it means that we have missed the boat. And trust me when I say this, I get it, okay? I grew up in the Indian culture where, you know, a lot of people believed that if you weren't married by the age of 25, then you were doomed. So I get it. But what this means is that a lot of us grow up into adulthood now thinking, oh my gosh, I haven't found love yet. And we put so much pressure on ourselves to find a relationship and to find love by a certain age. And if we don't, then it means there's something wrong with us. And if we don't, it means that we are a failure. So these limiting beliefs hinder us, right? They stop us from moving forward. In fact, you know, I have a lot of people in my community who who actually hold this limiting belief that they're too old to find love. Like the other day I was reading this comment where this specific person mentioned that they were 29 and that they didn't see the point anymore in trying to find somebody because they would need to date that person for at least one year before getting married. And so it means that they've missed the boat. And the truth of the matter is a lot of people think like this. You know, I've also read comments from people who think they're 25 and they're too old to find love. And it's a really interesting one because, you, you know, it's interesting to observe there are people at different ages, like some 35, some 40, some 25, some 30, and all of them have the same limiting belief. I'm too old to find love because that's what they have been taught to believe. And now this has become part of their belief system. And now this means that is the energy that they're projecting to the universe. And that means that now this is what you become a magnet for. When in reality, right? Your age has nothing to do with your ability to manifest your desired love life. And here's why. The universe is not responding to your age, to your race, to your physical appearance, to your finances, to your job. The universe is not responding to any of those 3D materialistic things. The universe is responding to one thing and one thing only your vibration, and this is something you have control of. Your energy is what the universe is responding to. Now, for a lot of people, the problem is this. They have a limiting belief that says, if I'm not married by blank, let's say 25, then now it means that I missed the boat and I'm too old to find love. So what happens is when you begin to tell that story, when you begin to nurture that story, um, and, you know, it now becomes part of your belief system. This now becomes your self-concept. Now, your self-concept is the energy that you are emitting and projecting to the universe. And this is what the universe is responding to. Therefore, you're going to manifest scenarios in your experience to demonstrate to you what you believe about yourself. So perhaps you keep manifesting people who mirror back to you. Hey, you know what? I think you're great, but um, you're just too old. Well, this is a reflection of your internal state of being of what is going on inside of you. So if your self-concept says, I'm too old to find love, then that is what you are going to keep manifesting in your life. You're going to manifest scenarios to demonstrate to you that you believe that about yourself. But again, 
this all stems from societal conditioning, right? From a young age, you've been taught to believe that if you don't find love by a certain age, then, you know, you have missed the boat. So everything comes from that, from the societal conditioning, from what you have taught to believe is true when you, from when you were a kid. But now here is the good news. The good news is none of it matters. Because the only thing that matters right now in the present moment is your vibration, is your ability to calibrate your vibration to higher frequencies, to elevate your emotion and to become an energetic match to your epic love life. That is the only thing that matters right now in the present moment. And let me tell you, I met my husband when I was 32. Now to some people that's young, to some people that's old. It's always a matter of perspective. But what I can tell you is that for me, you know, I was told when I was 26, 27, there was a lot of pressure to find somebody and to get married. Luckily not from my parents, but just from the culture that I was in. People thought I was weird that I was still single. And I'm so glad I never bought into any of that stuff because when I did become aware of universal principles, was, which was at the age of 29, I finally understood, oh my gosh, all of that is irrelevant. The only thing that matters is my vibration, which meant that now, you know, I was really anchored in, in sort of deciding when I wanted things to happen on my timetable, not on the timetable of societal conditioning. And so, you know, when I decided to, when it, when I felt inspired to was when I began to do the energy work to become an energetic match to my dream partner. And hence I met my husband at the age of 32. Um, and for me, that proved to me that age is so irrelevant, right? That you can meet somebody at any age because it's contingent upon one thing and one thing only, your vibration. And here's another thing that I want you to remember today. Love is eternal. Love has no limits and boundaries. So don't try to box love into, well, if I don't find love by a certain age, then that means that I've missed the boat. Okay, love is infinite. It is omnipresent. Love is who you truly are. It is your natural state of being. So love is not boxed in because of your age. Don't try to box love in because of your age. It is not contingent upon your age, right? Love is beyond all of that. So the only thing that really matters, my message from this video is this, okay? Your age is irrelevant when it comes to manifesting whatever it is that you desire in your love life. It's just a limiting belief that um, you have been conditioned to believe is true, that you can easily choose to drop right now. You can instead choose to go within and begin to calibrate your vibration to what it is that you desire in your love life. So your age is irrelevant to manifesting your epic love life because the universe is not responding to your age. The universe is responding to your vibration, to your energy. And this is something that you have the ability to change and to shift right now in the present moment if you decide to. This is an internal game. And one more thing that I actually just want to share here is that me and my husband ended up getting married after three months. Now, to a lot of people, that seems like really quick and really fast. But here's the thing. Most people approach a relationship from, oh, I need to get to know that person, and therefore it's gonna take me about a year or two years to get to know that person. When people come into my world, I share with them how I did it. And this is how I did it. When I approached a relationship, it was never to do with getting to know the other person. It was to do with getting to know myself. Know thyself, because once you know that you are divinity incarnate, that you are an extension of source energy, and that you are a fractal of the divine, then you really do begin to know your invincibility. And I don't mean just know this intellectually, I mean you really know it in your soul, within every fiber of your being, that you are the creator of your reality, and therefore that you can be, do, or have anything that you desire in your life. Once you really know this, and I knew this, right, um, on my sort of, on my journey of my spiritual path, then, you know, I didn't need to get to know anybody else because I knew me and everybody is a reflection of me, right? Everybody is you pushed out. Everybody is a reflection of your internal state of being. So once you know yourself and you know yourself as the creator, there's no need to get to know anybody else because everybody else is just a reflection of you. It's just a reflection of what's going on within you. So the new thing that you need to know is who you are. Who are you? 
once you know this, things will happen very friggin' quickly like they did for me. Not that I needed it to, but just I knew I was God. I knew I was divinity incarnate and that's all I needed to know. And therefore I knew that I was never backed into a corner, that no matter what shows up in my experience, I have the ability to shift it if it is not what I prefer. And so therefore, when I called in my husband, it was from this level of consciousness of knowing who I am, being in that energy of wholeness. And so therefore, things unfolded very, very quickly, right? Because I knew myself. And I, therefore, my husband is just a reflection of me. It's a reflection of my internal state of being. So it's not about getting to know somebody else. It's about knowing yourself because everybody is you. So my message from this training <laughs> is that your age is irrelevant when it comes to manifesting your epic love life. The only thing that is relevant when it comes to manifesting your love life is your vibration. And this is something that you have the ability to shift and to change right now in the present moment if you decide to. Thanks so much for watching this video about why your age does not matter when it comes to manifesting your epic love life. Give me a thumbs up if it resonated for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified every time I post new videos around how to manifest your epic love life. Catch you soon.